it ain't gotta be perfect. It just has to happen. That mindset is gonna get us through the rest of the year. <laughs> I haven't got a lot of time to get out and run today. I've actually got family coming over, which is really nice. Um, but that also means I need to like tidy up and clean, whatever. So we are going for a run. When I say we, I mean we. <laughs> and you, of course. <laughs> I'm putting my trail shoes on. If you're wondering, these are the ones I have. Excuse the dog hair and the dirt. <laughs> I haven't worn these in a while. I'm taking Storm to the training area and we're just gonna go and we're just gonna have some fun. We don't have long, so the goal here is just to make it happen. Recently, I have been in a really, really bad mindset. I have been delaying going for a run and considering I can't get out and run as often as I used to, but as often as I genuinely want to, the, on the days where I can go and run, I'm really, really not feeling it. And I have a feeling it's because I haven't got anything that I'm working towards. I'm just running to run. I don't know if I'm repeating myself at this point, but after nearly six months of being alone, I've only got just over two weeks left before Matt comes home. So nearly six months of being alone. And the only reason to go for a run is this guy. It really has thrown me off. Yes, Stormy, we're going, we're going. So I need to be making sure I'm going out and I'm getting these runs done because there's no pressure here. It doesn't have to be the quickest 5K I've ever ran in my life. It doesn't have to be the most glamorous. And there is no reason why every 5K I do from here on out has to be better than the last one. It just needs to be better than the one that I didn't turn up for. Let's go, let's do this. <laughs> I just want to quickly mention, if Storm will let me, that I was asked what running, what dog running lead I use. And, oh, I just hit myself. Yes, Stormy, yes, Stormy. Yes, Stormy. Okay, so this is just from Amazon. I don't think it was expensive or fancy. Um, it's just one that my husband found. I can't find a brand other than, other than this. That's all I can see. Try searching this running lead, and that's what I use. <laughs> I think it's good. We, yes. We we had the first one for a few years, and then we repurchased it because we really liked it. Nope. It goes around the waist, and you have a hook here to get to you. It is adjustable as well, and you have a handle here and a handle here, two more clips, just in case you wanna make it shorter. And then obviously we clip this on to the dog, <laughs> which is what he desperately wants me to do right now. I'm gonna get that done. This could be a new record to storm drop in a package. That's as far as we've got. <laughs> <sighs> Stop it! Oh, stop it! I have to show you what I'm looking at. There's cows. Hi, buddy. There's so many. There's more down there as well. What do you think, Storm? The rain has picked up now. It's not a drizzle anymore. They're proper raindrops. And yeah, there's been quite a lot of mud dirty slushy mud paths which let me just show you my legs hold on this is where we're currently at we're not even one mile in how are you doing storm yeah this is gonna be a messy one he's still staring at that cow well the cows all right there's one just at the edge so i'm gonna be super careful and hold him near me not that he'll do anything but <laughs> Still. Storm! Oh my goodness. 
I take my eye off him for one second and he's in that puddle. Oh, come on you. <laughs> turned around I'm not going to do this trail because the rain <laughs> is quite intense I'm on a road at the moment I was up there and yeah it's too muddy I might as well take him for a walk if I'm going to go through there so I'm going to head back to the roads and we'll run on the path I will still stay out because a little bit of rain never hurt anyone he's going to go for a puddle oh no he didn't <laughs> if you're new or you're thinking about going running don't let the rain put you off please don't it used to be such a, a big no-no for me even if i was running and i was like oh, it's gonna rain tomorrow maybe i shouldn't do it maybe i should go the next day no go in the rain as long as you're safe and you're not running on slippery mud with a husky pulling you like i would have been <laughs> or at risk of falling over go go in the rain there's nobody here storm and i are the only nutters <laughs> who are out running i've said this before as well but once you're already wet the worst bit is over it's not going to get any worse once you get to a level of wet then that's it <laughs> that's just your new comfortable there's those cows again <laughs> oh just pause to grab storm so i can walk past the the cows can you see how much it's raining Soaked. Let me show you the puddle, maybe that will show it a bit more. Why do I feel like I can see snow? Someone else is out. No, I think I just went mad then. I, I swear I just thought I saw snow. I'm doubting myself. No, it's not snow. Is it? Let me show. I don't know why, but for some reason I keep feeling like I can see some snow, but on camera it doesn't look like snow. It looks like rain. Now hold on a minute. That's not a raindrop. Hmm. Maybe I can see snow. It looks like snow now. There's a dog off the lead running this way, so we're gonna get going. <laughs> I got that on camera I wish I got that on camera I just nearly fell flat on my face and I mean flat I tripped up a curve I didn't pick my foot up I didn't lift my foot high enough I tripped up the curve and I went flying forward and the storm if storm hadn't been there I probably wouldn't have been able to catch myself my hand landed on storm's bum and he pushed back that gave me enough to stand up properly oh my gosh I felt like I was vertical in the air then I've only ever fallen once and that was 19 miles in to a 20 mile run i was doing with my friend we actually ended up running a marathon that day which is amazing she did so good and i'd been running for hours and hours and hours and as soon as it clicked to 19 miles there was like a branch not a branch a root that was coming up from the pavement and uh, yeah i didn't lift my foot up high enough again with that and uh I nearly fell flat on my face crossing the road yeah i nearly fell well no i did fall flat 
and I um, hurt my knee. If I can find a picture, I'll put that up. <laughs> Moral of the story, it doesn't have to be raining for you to fall over. <laughs> you can do it anytime. <laughs> back and Storm is now only to be in the kitchen <laughs> because he's so muddy. Should we do a mud check with Storm? Okay, I suppose it could be worse. I think at one point it was worse and then I think a few of the puddles actually helped in the end. <laughs> I on the other hand didn't do too bad. That'll... Yeah, not too bad. I thought that was going to be a lot worse to be honest. Well that most definitely wasn't perfect, but it most definitely happened. <laughs> what do we do? 2.72 miles, but it was exactly 30 minutes, which is what I wanted to do, 30 minutes. That was the only thing I wanted, but also if I didn't manage to get 30 minutes done today, I wasn't gonna beat myself up about it. That run <laughs> did not go to plan. You know what, I never ever plan out a route and a distance. Well, I do, but I mean, in the last six months since running with storm i haven't really been planning routes and things today i was like i'm taking storm on the trails i'm even going to put my trail shoes on even if it's wet and drizzly which i assumed it was going to be today it'll be fine no it was terrible it really rained quite heavy and you saw it too there was definitely snow there at one point there was ice on my arm so i definitely saw snow but that didn't last long that was like 10 minutes 10 minutes if back then i did around the houses and on the pavements and the rain stopped pretty quick nearly fell flat on my face yeah there's a lot actually that happened if you've made it this far into the video give it a thumbs up i want to thank you so much for joining me on these 2.72 miles getting out there and getting it done is what is needed let's not compare ourselves to anyone else it, it's always you versus you every single time you're the only person running in your body just because someone else is out there running for more than 30 minutes or running for 30 minutes and doing more than 2.72 miles. It doesn't matter. That doesn't make them any more worthy to be out there running. Storm and I deserve to be out there running. You deserve to be out there running. Comparison really is the thief of joy. And if I, this morning, was to compare myself to someone else who ran their dog yesterday and posted about it and managed to get a lot more done a lot quicker, then I could have potentially told myself that I wasn't good enough and I'll just take Storm for a walk. He wouldn't have had as much fun. I wouldn't have had as much fun and now we can both relax actually I can't relax because I've got to clean the house because I've got people coming over right I better go <laughs> make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already bye guys